Manor has made a lot of connections for me, um, particularly with Tufts Medical Center in downtown Boston. And I'm leaving here with my dream job, a job I never thought I was going to have. And it's, it's absolutely incredible. And I know that if I went to a big school, I would have gotten lost in the numbers. And having such a small, intimate setting just really helped me a lot grow as, as a woman, as a scientist, as a person. And I'm, I'm truly, truly thankful that I decided to come to Pine Manor. It's going to make me cry. No crying. <laughs> wow. She is crying. Oh, no. <laughs> Stop, because once one starts, the rest of us start. <laughs> I couldn't be happier that I came to the school because I build relationships with people that are going to last. The professors <laughs> are amazing, so I'm happy that I came here. Professor Ramirez, I love her. She, She's the best. Like I can talk to her about anything, school, personal. She's always there. There's another person, even though she's not a professor, Sarah. She works in the library. She's We're like this. <laughs> we talk about everything, whatever. She's made me believe in myself. She, would, she makes me confident. Pine Manor for me has truly been a second home. We've made friends that have become families. We basically just grew as a community, as a class, and we learned so much from each other. Uh, my journey through Pine Manor has been an amazing journey, and I'm very thankful. I learned to, to be myself and be who I really am and who I really want to be. And I think that our faculty, they've been here throughout my whole journey, and I, I am so happy that I met them, and I'm hoping to keep in contact. The first award is the Pine Manor College Faculty Award, which is given to a full-time student with the highest grade point average upon completion of his or her academic work at Pine Manor. Would Non Lam, who is graduating with a degree in biology, and received a 3.91 cumulative GPA. Um, I was a transfer student, and uh, the whole experience here is totally different. So I worked a lot harder here because they actually like push you. So it was nice. It's been an amazing experience, uh, especially when I transferred in later than other biology students. The faculty was super understanding and they helped me grow when I learned how much I have a passion for biology. And overall, I, I love the school. I love the, <laughs> I loved everything about it. I loved the friends I made, the faculty, and honestly, it was an amazing experience and I can't believe I'm finally wrapping it all up. <laughs> it's great. Um, I feel like Pine Manor is like, a family because it's so it's such a small school but everyone knows each other and everyone like helps each other out and gets along and stuff it's it's fun to be here I think that Pine Manor faculty is one of the best they're always gonna be there for you they know you by first name within the first couple of weeks um, somebody that really was always there pushing me and pushing me was from the business department was professor Becker it's like no matter what I thought I couldn't do he was just like nope keep trying keep trying keep trying the Exemplary Achievement Award was established in memory of Jane French McCall Dill. It is awarded to a student who combines outstanding values and leadership with excellence in academic achievement. Will Elizabeth Lopez Quiroz please come to the podium? I'm really happy that I stayed at Pine Manor. I think it made me be more open and be more true to myself and see who I can really be. And I have an internship at Tufts. School of Dental Medicine. Um, it was exactly what I expected it to be, and, and I'm, I'm very happy that I ended up there because it, it's amazing that I actually get to see both sides of science, academic, and industry all at the same time, pretty much, because my mentor is a professor as well as a researcher. And she writes grants, and she's just, she's absolutely amazing, and the fact that I get to be a part of this is incredible because now I get to publish with her, which is something that I could never have hoped for at this early in life. Um, so I did my internship. I first started at Tufts, where I had an amazing part of research in the academia world. And then I went into the industry um, world, where I work at ReproSource Fertility, which really got hired full time. Um, so I'm very happy and pleased to say that I, I really loved and enjoyed my internship and my job now. <laughs> um, my internship is at a pharmacy called Massing Pharmacy. The whole experience was really new to me, but I have a great experience there and I learned a lot. I did my internship at the Home for Little Wonders in Roxbury, working with youth with behavior um, problems. And some of the kids, they're hard to deal with, but at the same time, every behavior 
has a reason. So I got to intern at Tufts University for almost a year. We did a lot of stuff with 3 prime end processing DNA, all that fun biology, cellular stuff, and I had my own project, and it was, a lot of it was like towards anti-cancer research, or like understanding genetic mutations and all that stuff, so it was really cool, and I really enjoyed it. <laughs> um, my plans are, right now I'm going to work um, in my, the fertility lab. Till fall of 2016, I'll be applying for grad school and hopefully getting my PhD in clinical studies with a focus on genetics and fertility. I'm planning to go to graduate school. I'm in the process of um, applying. Um, I want to become a pharmacist, so I'm going to pharmacy school. But after graduation, I want to go to grad school and get my master's in um, social work or family therapy, whichever one. I realized due to some stuff that's happened to me recently that I really want to go into cancer research. So that's one of my goals is to eventually go to grad school, get my PhD in some form of cancer studying and move from there. Um, I do want to continue on to get my master's and go all the way to PhD. Being part of a community means that when you fail, you never fall too hard because someone will always be there to catch you. I realize Pine Manor is that community for me.